Howdy folks, it's the Tall Turtle here, and I just wanted to give an update on the add-on texture pack that I'm creating from Minecraft 113, which I'll be using on the Paul Source Junior server, as well as my own single-player world, which will be starting soon. And it's an add-on texture pack because it's meant to sit on top of the Red Craft or R3D Craft Smooth Realism 120 resolution. So first, let's talk about Red Craft and what's going on with that and why I'm doing an add-on texture pack. So if you look around you, what you see right now is the Redcraft texture pack, which I painstakingly converted for 113. So if you look on our debug screen here, we are running a 113 snapshot, supposedly the last snapshot before 113 is fully released. But we are running the Redcraft in 113. I wanted to show that because as it sits now, the Redcraft smooth realism won't work in 113 unless it's converted. And I have converted it painstakingly, like I said. I renamed every file, I redid the particle and icon templates, and it is working just fine. I'm very excited about that. I did try contacting Redcraft to ask them if they were going to convert it, and I got no response. But that also means I haven't been able to receive permission to distribute this conversion. I would love to share this conversion with everybody because it did take a lot of work, but at the time of this recording, I'm unable to distribute this um, conversion that I've made. So hopefully, oh, lightning struck that tree. So hopefully I can get permission. And then once I do, or if I do, I'll put a link in the description below saying that I have permission to distribute my conversion as well as a link to the conversion. All right, I cleared up that weather. Now the reason why I have a torch in my hand is I wanted to show you that I did actually do things like particles because that's kind of a big deal and was more difficult to do. So whoops, let me use the right thing. I'm not using creative mode. There you go. So there you go. Particles have been converted to, I mentioned that because that was a lot of work. <laughs> Without converting it, everything's blue. All particles are blue. But there you go. Particles have been converted. Textures have been converted. What you see here is R3D craft. And it works in 113. So now let's talk about the add-on pack and what and why. So the reason I want to do an add-on texture pack is because R3D craft or red craft hasn't been updated in such a long time that more blocks have not been retextured thin blocks that have. So while the foundation is awesome, like your grass and your stone and your rock and your gravel and your sand and all that stuff and your trees, of course, and your woods, while that stuff had been retextured, um, none of the newer stuff have. And by new, I mean going all the way back to like cement and coarse dirt. That stuff had never been converted. So I figured I might as well take a shot at it. I had to zip up the Redcraft on its own. I can't use their textures in my texture pack. I can't use my textures in their texture pack. So I zipped that up after I converted it and I've started an additional add-on texture pack, which is why the word add-on is very important because my texture pack is not gonna have what you see here. I don't have any of my texture packs showing yet. So the Redcraft texture pack only had four doors done. So I finished the doors like so. I did the acacia, the birch, and the dark oak. Now the acacia is a little flat. I have to add some 3D-ness to it. I just haven't decided how I'm going to do that because of the way it's laid out is kind of difficult. But the birch door has 3D and the dark oak has 3D. I was going to make the white part of the birch see-through because that's one thing that's bothered me about birch is you can't see through it. Otherwise, I love the birch door. But I decided to stick with the purism and I kept it so it's not see-through but the rest of these doors which I'm just gonna put off for comparison are from the original red craft like so so I just kind of continued the idea for the remaining three wood patterns and so those are the doors and then similarly I had to create all the trap doors except for oak so there's a case of trap door which again I have to make it 3d but there's oak one and then or birch sorry and then we have dark oak somewhere there we go and then spruce I had to create. The oak was the only one in Minecraft. So that one's been done for a long time. And the jungle door and then the iron door was already done by Redcraft. So I had to create five of the trap doors because that's new to 113 is having all these trap doors. Or maybe it's actually new to 112. I can't remember. It's been so long since Redcraft updated. I can't remember everything. I just know that I had to create five of them myself with only two previously done were oak and trap. The rest I did. Jungle door actually doesn't turn out too bad. Again, I got to do some 3D stuff. Spruce I'll leave. This I'll leave. Birch, I might do some trim around the white. And then Acacia, again, I got to do some 3D stuff. So this isn't completely done, but it's getting there. I also wanted to mention, which I forgot to mention earlier, 
that I'm not claiming that my add-on texture pack is great. I'm not even claiming that my add-on texture pack is good. It's just better than having default textures mixed in with this photo real stuff. So, um, so again, you know, these trap doors aren't amazing, but it's sure better than default mixed in with textured. So I just want to kind of give that disclaimer. I'm not saying this is great at all. It's just better than nothing. And I'm using GIMP. I barely know how to use GIMP. I barely know how to do, you know, artsy um, graphic design anyway. So the fact that I'm able to do stuff like this, um, I'm actually kind of excited. So I'm excited to share this. So anyway, after the doors, what else? Oh, saplings. Let's move on to saplings. I'm actually very excited about the saplings. So all six of these saplings are mine. The Red Craft had no saplings textured at all. I want to say modeled because I'm using Flight Simulator. No saplings were textured. So all these are mine. I'm quite proud of them. They are photo real. Let's start with the acacia if I can find which one it is here. There's the acacia. There's the acacia sapling. I'm extremely excited about that one. The birch is somewhere around here. That was the first one I did. I'm very excited about that one as well. Dark oak. Where's my dark oak? There it is. So what I did is I took pictures of real life saplings of the trees I could find and then made the saplings out of them. So this is spruce right there. This is regular oak. And this is jungle. And of course, they're not an iron tree. <laughs> but anyway, let's get rid of this here. Actually, let's turn, let's turn off that. Okay, so these are my saplings. I'm extremely excited about my saplings. One thing that really bothered me in Redcraft is having all this amazing stuff with a default birch sapling right in the middle of your screen. But now we have photo real saplings. They're a little tall. They're, well, they're a lot taller than the default. But saplings in real life are five feet tall, four feet tall. So I have no problem with the height on these. So I'm very excited about the saplings. It's probably one of my favorite parts, maybe. But anyway, so there's the saplings. So we've got doors, trap doors, and saplings so far. We have a lot more to go, and this video is already longer than I thought it would be, and we're just getting started. So what is next? So next we have our stripped woods. So if you're not aware of this, in 113, if you right-click on wood on a tree, you will get straight or stripped bark. So let me actually pull up a um, axe. I always want to call it a hatchet because of the pickaxe thing. So if you right click on wood, you get stripped wood. Now the default, of course, ooh, that actually looks really nice. The rest look kind of, oh, anyway. So, of course, the default, it really wants to rain. The default, you just get, you know, your regular 16 by 16 textures, which doesn't look good when you have a texture pack like this. Let's get this weather cleared up again. My goodness, it keeps raining. So what I did is I textured them, of course. So let's see, where's the acacia? Let's start with the acacia. So again, it's not the best looking thing, but if you come up close, it is photos of real wood that I've colored and got a little bit of texture too. So it's better than the default and um, it gets the job done. So the top has been textured as has the sides. So where's the birch here? Birch is there, dark oak. Like so, that's kind of, I might have to change that. That's a little dark on top compared to the side. Might have to work on that one a little bit. Spruce is going to be there then. That one looks okay. Regular oak, that one's okay. Jungle, where's my jungle? The jungle, I used the colors from the default textures, but it looks much different than that. I might have to work on that one too. And then iron, obviously, there's not an iron tree. So those are the six stripped logs, better than nothing. I might change the coloring of the top of the dark oak. Actually, I would make the side darker. And then I might change the coloring of the jungle, maybe. Um, we'll just have to see how that goes. All right, so far so good. What is next? So next we have concrete, which I'm really proud of because again, this is photo real stuff. And um, I did all 16 colors of this. I'm just going to get a few set up and then we'll talk about it here. All right, here we are with all 16 cement or concrete colors and concrete powder. So if you look up closely, this is actually a photo of real cement that I took in my front yard and just colored it for all 16 colors. So there's a little bit of texture, which I think is the perfect amount of texture. Not too much, like not too solid of a color, but not too much texture either. And I'm quite pleased with that. And then in between we have the powder. So for the powder, 
I wasn't sure what to do, so I just took the default texture and replicated it 128. So when you back up, it actually looks really good. When you get close, it's okay. Um, it's way better than default, and it needed to be much different than the solid concrete. So if you go along here, you can see these nice concrete textures. It popped a little bit. This one looked, turned out really well. Um, I'm not into like bump mapping and stuff to give it like the 3D coarse look. Plus that's hard on frame rates and stuff anyway. So anyway, these are all the colors. The green lime actually looks really good. So it looks decent up close. Especially the light gray. Wow. Looks decent up close. Even better far away. And I think it's acceptable. Um, and like I said, I'm not claiming this texture pack is great or even good, but I would say this is pretty acceptable. So those are the 16 colors of concrete. And then similarly, I redid the mycelium. How do you say that? I can never say it right. Mycelium. I redid the mycelium. Um, I'm happy with it. It looks much better than mixing in default textures. I can't remember what I did, how I did that, but... Um, I'm happy with it. I like how it looks. I did a little bit of coloring on top. I might change that those stripes on top a little bit, but I think it looks okay. Again, it's acceptable. It's much better than default textures mixed in with photo real textures. And then the Podzol, whoops, is similar idea, but different enough that I didn't just copy the mycelium and color it. It is different in enough ways that, um, again, I think it is acceptable. Bone block, I took a picture of my hallway in my house and gave it some texture so that the bone block has some texture. Let's make this higher so we can actually see it. So there we go. I think that works. It looks pretty much like bone. It looks like a bone block. Again, better than default anyway. And then we get into a few more blocks like coarse dirt. For coarse dirt, I don't know what to do. I tried taking pictures of dirt all over my yard. Nothing worked. So I just took the default texture and made it into 128 resolution so that one i plan on revisiting but it's good enough to get started since 113 is almost released and the pulse source junior server is almost ready to go so it'll hold us over until we until i come up with something else from far away it looks fine i did a um test where i mixed it in with like path block and everything and it actually looks okay and let's um Let's do that, because that's when you would most likely use this, is if you're doing a, pa a path block. I'm all choked up about my own texture pack. If you're doing a path block, you know, it would be mixed in like so. And in that application, I think it looks okay. It looks fine. Um, it's not perfect. I should probably revisit it. But um, you get the idea, right? So that is... The blocks, oh, one more block that I can think of, and that's Soul Sand. Soul Sand, I did the same thing. I just um, took the default and made the resolution bigger. So, again, it's kind of nauseating, but I kind of did that on purpose. I thought that was actually, it actually works better. This idea on the Soul Sand works better than, like, the coarse dirt idea. So, I don't plan on revisiting Soul Sand. I think the Soul Sand is going to stay this way. But yes, I plan on revisiting the coarse dirt, and it really wants to rain. So there you go. There's some more blocks, some cement, and what is next on my list of conversions here? Conversion is a wrong word. I really should say my um, add-ons. So I did seeds next. So carrots, and I'll show you all stages. So there's carrots, potatoes, beetroots. Where are they? Beetroots I did. Um... Pumpkins and melons. I did pumpkins and melons, but I didn't do the seeds yet. I plan on doing those soon. So anyway, if you look, carrots, potatoes, and beetroot are the same first stages of 0 and 1, but 2 and 3 change. So let's get our bone meal here. Let's get that out, and let's actually get some other blocks ready too. I wanted to get the jack-o'-lantern to show you. I believe there's another one I was going to show you. Maybe not. We got the pumpkins there. Alrighty, so let's back out. So if we get some bone meal on here, you can see carrot stage 0 looks like that. Stage 1, actually that jumped up to 2. There's stage 1 there. Now 2, the carrots are coming up. And 3, the carrots are full. Um, again, it's not super amazing, but 
you get the idea and it's way better than default i'm still proud of them though that took a little bit of work and then again there's stage one and two that skip two four potatoes there's some stage two back here stage one stage two is up here it's weird to start with zero because when logic it's always zero first not one first so um stage zero stage one stage two and then stage three of the potatoes so same idea as carrots except it's different enough the stems are all different as you can see the stems are different and then how much potato you see is much different than carrots so even though stage zero and one are the same two and three are completely different so totally different stems and different vegetable um the beetroot there's stage two we got a stage two out of it there we go we're gonna get stage two in all these and stage ones there we go, stage one, stage two. I said that wrong, but you get the idea. There's stage three, there we go. Again, completely different, oh, there we go. Completely different stems than the others and then different um, vegetable. So those are our main vegetables. Now pumpkins and melons, the seeds and the stems I haven't done yet, but if we go to how we get a pumpkin and we're not going to because we um, need the right kind of block under it there we go now we should be able to get something out of it no nope, we're not going to okay how again i know wants one next to it whatever i pulled them out here so that's getting dark let's um hope i can't get that right that's time set day right yeah so those are the stems haven't done those yet but the melons themselves i have done and this is a picture of real watermelon and then i made a top so these are the melons which i am happy of the pumpkins are okay um, you really don't see the texture unless you get really close to it. So I might modify that a little bit, but the tops you can see. So you get the idea. The jack-o'-lanterns are kind of dumb and childlike, but I like them. They're fine enough, at least for now. And then the jack-o'-lantern version, which is jack-o'-lantern. Okay, there we go. That, again... Isn't the most amazing thing, but I'm not claiming it to be. But I get the idea. It's fine. It gets the job done for now. I want to clear out this weather and see what is next on my list of add-ons. So there are more ice colors added in Minecraft. So we have some dark blue here, which I did myself because that didn't exist in the red craft, just the original ice. So I did that myself. Also, there's the frost textures that I updated. So if you have Frostwalker enchantment on your boots the lake will freeze over and I redid those textures myself because they were default before however I just tested them and they look so hideous and I'm going to show you I have to go through and fix them so when I do another update of the texture pack it'll be in that one but I'm working on that that one I will revisit for sure so the last but not least is all the stuff you'd find in the end so I was going to actually go to the end but I'll just show us here and it is going to rain again that's fine for right now Except a girl's grass where I'm trying to build and more lightning so I did a bunch of stuff for the end um, the red craft had no end textures at all so I did as many as I could so we're gonna start with this and um, again some of the textures do look kind of funny I'll admit but it's almost like a different dimension what well, is a different dimension so to have slightly different theme in the textures I guess isn't terribly bad for example these end bricks look like a two-year-old did it but um, being a different dimension and no other textures to reference, I don't think it'll look half bad. And let's build up a couple layers here, and I'll make this weather clear yet again. And I'll talk about what I did. So the end stone, I took a picture of real stone, and I did some coloring to it. And I think it looks kind of nice. Originally, I had it too bright. I had to tone it down. Because if you can imagine the entire end made out of this, you would go crazy. But it's better than default. Then the end bricks look kind of silly, but again... You don't see them very often anyway, and um, given it's a different dimension, a slightly different style isn't terribly bad. So let's add to this the purper, which um, all I did for this, which I know kind of drives people crazy, is I just, let's see if I can get that to, there we go, is I just um, took the original default textures and just made them higher resolution. I really wasn't sure what to do for this, and but this looks fine. This mixed in with these bricks. I think it looks completely acceptable. Again, I'm not claiming it's amazing or anything, but it's definitely acceptable. And I think it actually looks okay. It's not overwhelming, it's not underwhelming, it's just better than default 
And I think it's going to work out just fine. And then lastly, for the end, I have my chorus plants and chorus fruits, which should grow out for us in a minute here. And I'm really pleased how this turned out. I took pictures of um, honeydew, of muskmelon. And that's bit, that was my texture for the plant and the fruit as well. That might grow while we talk here. So that is it for blocks. Um, there's a lot of work. So again, just to recap, this video is really, really long. I can't believe how long this took me. But um, I converted the red craft, zipped it up, put its own thing, set it aside. And then I added my own textures on top of that as a separate texture pack. I do plan on distributing both when I get permission. So when I get permission, if I get permission to distribute my Redcraft conversion, I will. Or else if I don't get permission, I'll just provide everything to them and they can claim it. I really don't care. Um, as far as my add-on, I can distribute that now, but I don't know how much sense it would make on other texture packs because um, the blocks I'm converting are based on what isn't textured or converted in the red craft. So there you go. There's those blocks there, a whole bunch of things. There's the end stuff. I'm going to make it clear or morning because there's one more thing. It's set time day, right? No, it isn't. It's time set day. Time set day. Okay. So there's one more thing I wanted to mention is that's what I'm not planning on doing. I'm not planning on doing the glacier Akata. That's still default. It looks fine. I am planning on doing the beds if I can figure out how. I'm planning on doing the new aquatic blocks for 113. Once I figure out what I'm going to do with those. And I have to do those melon stems. So I do plan on doing more. But this is a really good start for 113 launch and for the Pulsars Junior Server launch. It's a really good start. I just have a few things left to do. Just got to figure out how I'm going to do them. And there are a few things, like I said, I'm not going to do. There's still some miscellaneous items I'm going to do as well. And the last thing I wanted to show you is the menu. If I hit escape, I did the menu. This is all mine. This is not Redcraft at all. This is all mine. The colors are all mine. The textures, again, I took pictures of something in my house for the background. The textures are all mine. And the icons, if this will let me back out. Here we go. The icons are all mine as are these hideous hideous selection arrows that i really need to redo because those are terrible but very low priority you only see the screen for a split second all the background the brown background is all mine too so all the menu stuff i've created myself i kept the original minecraft logo because i really like it i just colored it just a little bit um but otherwise Thank you for watching this very long video, at least it's long for a Minecraft video. Super detailed, I can't believe you watched the whole thing, but I really appreciate it. And um, there'll be a couple of new series on this channel soon. There'll be the Apollo Source Junior series, there'll be my own single player series, using the Redcraft conversion, using my own textures. And again, once I get permission, or if I get permission, you'll see a link down below with links to those updated and converted texture packs. So long for now, and I'll catch you next time.